on a vapor system, at the end of the steam main and return main are two vertical pipes that are what we call the drip pipes. Now underneath is a horizontal section that connects them. That's the wet return and that should be well underwater. With an original coal boiler the water level was very high and had buried those pipes underwater considerably. And being underwater that horizontal section it segregated the two drips. So steam could not go from the end of the steam main and get into the return main. But as you can see in this shot the steam is starting to come down the A dimension, the drip at the end of the steam main, and because the boiler is too short and no false water line was ever installed, that wet return is now a dry return and the steam comes around, goes horizontally, and comes right around and will rear end the air vent that is sitting at the end of the return pipe. Now that air vent will close when the steam gets there because that's what air vents do, they close when they get warm. Now when that happens, what, will ha what is going to take place is the steam pressure will equalize between the supply pipe and the return main. And when that happens, all movement of steam will cease and you'll probably get a no heat call or, or a poor heating call. You know, people will call up and say the house just doesn't heat right. And that's because that loop seal needs to be underwater. There's the air vent. It's closed.